Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So I'm just gonna jump right into it, Spirits, Angels, Guides. What messages do you have for? Sagittarius in love. What messages do you have for Sagittarius in love? Tell me about the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. What are the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection, Spirit? What are the energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection? The thinking woman. Okay. I feel like you're trying to figure something out. We'll see. Tell me. Oh, okay. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is thinking about or in a connection with. What are their energies in this connection? Spirit, what are their energies? The person that Sagittarius is dealing with at this time. Goddess of the moon. Well, that's why you're trying to figure something out. This person that you're dealing with, there's something that you're not really aware of with the moon, the goddess of the moon here. Maybe they're very mysterious or you can't figure them out or perhaps they're confused and they don't even know what they're doing and therefore you don't know what they're doing. What are the mutual energies here for Sagittarius spirit? What is going on in this connection? The mutual energies, please. For Sagittarius. Oh, that's way too many. Are they mutual energies? What's going on? This connection. Man holding a coin. So some sort of offer coming in here. Or being discussed. Being made. Bottom of the deck, indecision. So this is what I'm saying. It's almost like there's, and I think it's on your person's side, there's a choice or something that they're trying to still figure out. Let's see. Give me some clarity, Spirit, on these energies for Sagittarius. Help me clarify these energies, please. Tell me about the thinking woman. Tell me about the thinking woman. Nine of Pentacles, wow. I feel like you have a lot going for you. Sagittarius. It's like someone is, and I keep getting this card, um, either I get the appreciation card or I get the nine of pentacles where it's like people are being seen or recognized for their value or they're standing out in some way. There's a nice big sun up here. I feel like someone is seeing you um, favor favorably. Um, I feel like um, a lot of you um, also, you have everything that you could possibly have in life except for love, except for a dedicated partner. That's for some of you. Let's see, why is this goddess of the moon here? What can you tell me about the goddess of the moon? What can you tell me about the goddess of the moon? Wow, the lovers. This is about a choice. Gemini energy here. The lovers is a choice of a partnership and having to decide between what your heart is telling you to do and what your mind is telling you to do. I feel like your person needs to make a choice here of who they want to be with or what they want to do when it comes to love. And there's like confusion or doubt there. Tell me about the man holding a coin. 
why is this energy here, spirit? The man holding the coin, energy here, spirit. The sun reversed. Yeah, there's, there's the sun reversed, aka the moon. There's something that's hidden here, not clear, not out in the open. I have the star reversed and it's possibly, you know, it's possible that someone is having doubts or losing faith or hope that this will ever take place. Maybe they are losing trust in someone as well. So let's get into the tarot. I mean, these are tarot cards, but you know what I mean? <laughs> let's get into the reading here. Messages for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. What do we need to know? For Sagittarius, please. One more shuffle. Yikes. I keep seeing the Eight of Swords. Fear, feeling trapped, overthinking. So let's see. Now, Sagittarius, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it. But to avoid confusion, this is you for me. So let's see. Tell me about Sagittarius spirit. What are their, okay. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Tell me more about Sagittarius. What are their energies? What are they thinking or feeling about this other person or this connection? Knight of Pentacles reverse. You've been waiting a long time for something. And it feels like it's never going to come. If you're waiting for an offer from this person, you've been waiting what feels like forever. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. What are their energies at this time? Five of Swords. You're wondering if someone's being fair to you, if someone's lying to you, if you can trust someone. Which is strange that I'm getting that from this card. This card's a card about failure and someone not being fair to you. And, and it can be a card about deception, but what I'm picking up on here is you don't trust this person because you've been waiting so long. You almost wonder if they're playing you. Will all this be, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing um, phrases like, uh, do they really mean what they say? Is this all going to be, you know, for nothing? Is everything that I've done or waited for, for nothing? Something like that kind of energy. It's at the bottom of the deck. The lovers reverse. Exactly. It's almost like you're wondering if this person's ever going to choose you or they're going to cho choose someone else. Maybe they did choose someone else and that was the wrong choice. Whatever this choice is, I feel like they prob this person probably made a choice in the past that wasn't fair to you. We'll see when I clarify. I am going to clarify all of these. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? What are they thinking or feeling? Jesus. So, Seven of Swords. Sagittarius, what's going on? What's going on with this person? Are they avoiding certain conversations? Are they keeping something from you? Are they trying to be strategic here? But it's this is under the goddess of the moon. So I feel like this is something to do with like hiding. Hiding certain facts from you. Avoiding certain conversations in order to hide something. Tell me more. <laughs> High priestess reverse. Well, it won't stay hidden for long. I can tell you that much. If you guys are wondering, if you're sitting there like, yeah, I haven't. I don't know what's up with this person. I don't know if I can trust them. Like, I don't know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. You're going to find out. It's going to come to light. You're going to see this person very clearly. I, I, you know what I'm picturing here? Like a spotlight on this person. 
You know when you watch like a comedy or something like that and someone's like trying to get away from something and like a spotlight hits them and like you can see <laughs> they're looking around like oh crap. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing here. I find it very interesting that we have two um, moon energies here. Uh, the high priestess is pretty much the goddess of the moon in this card deck here. All right. What else can you tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with, Spirit? Any other messages? Wow, Six of Cups. Soulmate type of connection and a possible ex here that we're dealing with. Someone from your past. Yeah, this is someone that I feel like this is this has been ongoing, this connection. I have the Nine of Wands at the bottom. For me as a reader, this card and the Seven of Pentacles are like time cards. Cards where there has been waiting, um, all, like not just waiting, but waiting a long time or a lot of time has passed because this person, the Nine of Wands, the figure in this card, they've been through it, but they're not giving up even though they've been you know, in defense mode and trying to protect themselves all this time. You know, it's like you, you get to the Nine of Wands after a long time. And then finally, the Ten of Wands is another card. A lot of time has passed. Someone has carried a burden for a long stretch of time. So this with the Six of Cups, I feel like you've either known this person a long time or you've been in a connection with this person a long time. Something with time. Tell me about the mutual energies here between Sagittarius and this person. What's going on in this connection? Two of Swords, a difficult decision. Indecision, this is the card of indecision right here. Two of Swords, what else? And a card about time, temperance. There you are, Sagittarius, showing up in your own reading. I feel like this decision has something to do with you or is a decision about making something work. Bottom of the deck, four of cups reversed. Having a change of heart, renewed interest in something. Wow, ace of pentacles reverse. And the three of wands. I feel like for a lot of you watching, you've been waiting for an offer that hasn't come. It hasn't been a solid offer. And I feel like all of this waiting is causing you to think about whether you want to still keep this, like keep doing this. It's like you're changing your mind about the situation or having a change of heart about the situation because of all of the waiting that's been happening here. I'm also picking up, it's almost like this, one of you is like very undecided, unsure. Almost like, um, I'm picking up like a anxious energy here. And then the other one is like very calm. Almost resigned, like resigned to the fact that things are going to happen the way they're meant to. Only time will tell that kind of energy very unbothered like at this point it's almost like you don't even care anymore how things how things happen is that true Sagittarius let me know down in the comments if this is resonating at all for you I love hearing from you guys in the comments I don't respond to all of the comments because honestly that would be like a full-time job but I do read them all all right, Sagittarius, let's get into this. Let's clarify these energies, Spirit. Now, if this is resonating for you, like I said, leave me a comment, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. If this is not resonating with you at all, check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I think I did a bonus reading for you guys recently. Not sure. Um, but I have a whole playlist dedicated to Sagittarius, so check that out. You know, do not try to make this reading fit if it's not your reading. Not every reading you watch will be for you, Sagittarius, and that's okay. There you are. You're not all meant to resonate. So, you see what I'm seeing here? <laughs> 
I normally don't look at the like I don't show the deck when I shuffle in my readings, but I do look at it. You know, I I, I make like mental notes. But I just can't resist today. <laughs> This person, either they really played you or they've never been solid. I just keep hearing that. All they can offer you is small things. Let's see. Let's see, Sagittarius. Let's start with this Wheel of Fortune reverse. What's this Wheel of Fortune reverse about, Spirit? Ten of Swords, wow. Some sort of ending. Yeah, there was a there was a separation here, the lovers reverse. I'm, I'm really picking up, it's almost like your person could have chosen something else other than you. Or someone made a choice here that led to a, a separation between you or a feelings of betrayal. Gemini energy again with the lovers. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Maybe this caused a huge rift or disconnect between you. And you felt like, you know, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Wheel of Fortune, interesting. So I feel like there's some sort of change in the wind. That's what I heard, change in the wind. And again, time, there's something going on here with time. I have the 10 of wands reversed. Remember what I was saying about the 10 of wands earlier? It's like a long time coming. This is this what I'm getting here. Now for me as a reader, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, even though he's reversed. He makes it to his destination eventually. It just takes him forever to get there. And he moves at like a snail pace. So I'm talking about really like forever. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. But this Wheel of Fortune could move things along because that's literally what the Wheel of Fortune does. It propels you forward. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles reverse. It's like someone getting some sort of help. Okay, why is the Five of Cups here? disappointment regret missing someone disappointment i think i said that already the devil at the bottom of the deck capricorn energy eight of pentacles reverse i feel like um for some of you the passion's very heavy here like very strong but they're not making enough of an effort. It doesn't go beyond that. I feel like there's disappointment here because maybe somebody doesn't take uh, take this opportunity. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Maybe it's too little, too late. Why is the Five of Cups here? This one. Queen of Cups. The Devil again. I'm picking up here, um, Sagittarius. I feel like t uh, some time has passed uh the disconnect has been to the point where you're missing this person it's like you love this person from a distance um you love them even though they've disappointed you and continue to disappoint you it's almost like an obsession like an unhealthy attachment here emotional attachment that you have to this person even though they're not able to put in any effort I feel like in the back of your mind, you're hoping that a wheel comes to speed things along. It could also be that divine timing is at play here. Maybe you are meant to wait the time that you've been waiting. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Tell 
twice the five of swords here. The chariot reverse cancer energy. This is someone stuck, not moving. What's this? Yeah, the hangman reverse. This is someone stuck. Someone's not making moves or is prevented from making moves. And it's because they don't, they are not able or don't want to let go of something. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Gemini, it does not have to be. I have Sagittarius, I have Pisces. Tell me about this Five of Swords. I'm hoping this person isn't telling you that they're taking some sort of action because I can tell you right now, they're not. Five of Wands, they're probably scared of um, conflict, drama. There could be arguments between you. Ten of Wands reverse at the bottom. I feel like this has just been baggage. Like it's been it's been a difficult road with this person. Yeah, and I feel like this person, like, it's almost like this baggage is weighing them down and slowing them down. Because here's Knight of Pentacles, man holding a coin. Literally. So it's almost like someone just needs to let go of a ba of baggage or let go of some sort of burden or responsibility in order to free themselves to bring you an offer. What's behind that? Oh, three of cups reverse, of course. So there could be um, some sort of interference here. Let's see, what's the seven of swords about? What's the seven of swords here? Yep, this is deception. King of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Someone's not telling you the truth or has lied to you. Yep, Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is not someone that's able or willing to put in the effort needed. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. They've also, it's almost like they've lied about what effort they're putting. Yeah, Two of Swords. This person has not made a decision. If they've told you they're gonna make some sort of decision, th that's a lie. This person is, is undecided still. If they've told you, oh, I'm gonna leave them, or I'm moving, or I'm really leaving this job, or I'm quitting, you know, this or that, that's not true. They're not making a decision. That's what the Two of Swords is, someone that's unable to make a decision. bottom of the deck the star maybe you have hope that this person is not lying to you well I, I i'm really sorry to say sagittarius i just don't see this person telling you the truth about their actions or what they plan to do you could be dealing with an aquarius here it could also be once again i'm getting that it's almost like a spotlight you see that big star and this person's like literally naked. Um, but it's almost like the spotlight is on this person. Like you can see this person clearly. They, they don't want the sun on them, but it's there. 